I know, I know. I said I was gonna tell him. Okay, don't push me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him. Okay, God. Hey, America. This is a brand new episode of the Orange Couch Chronicles with your boy, award-winning autism activist Marcus Boyd, right here with me and the Orange Couch. Listen, family. We've been riding together on this train for a minute, and I've been forced to tell you that. This season is over. So, um, I know we're going to meet again. We're going to come back together. But for right now, we're going to have to part a little ways. You know, you don't have to get out of here, but you got to get out. Um, just joking. But we'll be back with a brand new season of the Orange Couch Chronicles coming up real soon. And I'm just thankful and I love everybody for rocking with me for so long with this Orange Couch Chronicles and every episode. Now, you already know what we do here, family. We get good, amazing, incredible questions from the autism community and I answer them in my way, my experience, because I've been having autism my whole life. <laughs> so, we're gonna get into that. But every music and every beat that you hear, I, Marcus Boy Beats, made it. And you can catch me every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. So you can see a brand new episode of the Orange Couch Chronicles. And I need you to like, share, and comment. I need you to do all three in that order. That way. Period. Like, share, and comment. So the world can see what? I can't hear you. world can see what? The Orange Couch Chronicles. The Orange Couch Chronicles. Ah, ah, ah. So, um, with having autism, I know sometimes... Um, people will focus on something very intently for a period of time. Do you have any specific fixations? Okay. Do I have any specific fixations? That's a Jeopardy word, people. Alex, I kind of won 500. So, um, do I have any fixations? We all know Marcus loves music. That's a... That's a given, okay? Let me go ahead and slap my hand on that. <laughs> That's a given. I love music. Um, I love making music, making beats, writing songs, doing poetry. Those things are my fixation, at least to start. Um, I think another fixation will probably be cartoons. I live and breathe cartoons. Not just Ninja Turtles, not, not just Looney Tunes, not just Road Runner, not just Boondocks, Family Guy, The Cleveland Show. Not, I mean, not just stuff like that, but, you know, I'm an old head. So your G.I. Joes, your Transformers, your, uh, your Smurfs, your Thundercats. I'm that guy, okay? Thundercats, oh, Thundercats. Thundercats are on the loose. Thundercats are loose. Did it? Feel the magic, feel the roar. Thundercats are loose. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm showing my age here. Thunder, 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 cat. Okay, I'm gonna stop, because I'm showing myself. But, um, I love spoken word events. That's really another fixation of mine, is going to live band playing spoken word events, because I, I can do a little spoken word myself. <clears throat> Othello, where help thy hand? been for five minutes. I haven't seen you in an hour. Please talk to my fair lady. I mean, <laughs> no applause, thank you. No applause, thank you. But um, another fixation of Marcus is my family. I love my family to the river, okay? I love them so much that I don't even listen to Sam Cooke when he said same change gonna come. I really, cause I don't want it to change. But, um, I love them and I know they love me and I strive and I thrive to be a better man, a better person, a better businessman, a better God-fearing man for my family. Um, another fixation. <laughs> is Dave and Busters, okay? Listen, if you 30 and up, you can relate to me, okay? Dave and Busters is the sauce. 
Let me, let me tell you something. I live and breathe for Dave and Buster's video game. And Wednesdays when they have all you can eat wings and you can get that fruit punch. For that $4.99, let me go ahead and tell you something. That is my life. So, <laughs> I am infatuated and fixated on Dave and & Buster's. Um, and one more. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Jury! I love jury like I'm supposed to love my spouse. So, um, I love jury. A lot of it. As you see right here. They in in my in my circumference in my neighborhood in my village they call me Fluffy Mr. T. That's my whole name. It's Fluffy Mr. T. Cause like they say, I pity you. I pity the fool. Like cause look at like 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 chains and stuff. I I love jewelry. I love how it sparkles and shines, and I love to bling bling. Just you know a little bit on that, but. As we enter to the orange couch, wind down. Now, listen, I like to say this, no, they're not one of my sponsors, but I like to give a major shout out to the Kool-Aid that I've been drinking. It's sugarless, just add water. You can find it at Walmart or any Aldi store. I like to give them a shout out. Because it's been some amazing juice. It's been going down my throat. <laughs> okay. So we've been talking about fixations and some things that I like. So I will encourage the autism community, whether you have a child, teenager, or adult, to find things that they like to do. Find things that you think or they think they might be skilled at. Or find things that they might want to learn or train in. Because... A successful mind can never grow if it's not taught. Remember that. And I just really want to thank everybody around the world, America. Y'all are my family. You know, I love you. I ride for you. You can write out to me, reach out to me on all my social medias. Autism Activist Marcus Boyd. My website, AutismActivistMarcusBoyd.com. A-Roll Management. Reach out to Ms. Rowe. For any bookings or any personal experience, reach out to my PR, Mix Nixon, um, you know, for any bookings or any appearances. So, again, we're going to come back with another season of the Orange Couch Chronicles. But for my heart, for my team, um, we thank you. We love you. And we're going to see you next season. <laughs>